Hey, hey, save my coin, budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha, and in today's video, we are going to do my budget recap for my first paycheck of November, as well as get into how we're going to do our cash stuffing. So if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, single mother finances on our low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you do not miss time when I post. If this is your first time seeing my video, hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. You're returning subscriber and oldie but goodie. Hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. Hey, y'all, yes, you got two videos back to back look at me but we are in the 2025 save my coin budgets financial planner it is available for pre-order right now as we speak the link is going to be down below if you would like to get yours shipped out for december 15th thank you guys so much you have been phenomenal we're going to go ahead and do my recap for this uh first paycheck as well as do my cash stuffing breakdown right, so we're getting up all in the business so this is my paycheck for the 8th. So I budgeted $1,380. What I brought home was $1,407. I always under budget my income um, as being the lowest amount that I possibly can receive um, just to make sure I give myself a cushion. Being a single mom, lots of things come up. So I want to make sure that I'm able to get all of the necessary things in before I'm able to do anything else. So 10% is going to be my tithe, which is going to be $140.70. For my mortgage, I did put $550 towards that. For State Farm, it was $143. For my AT&T phone bill, it was $127. They have been playing with your home girl. I don't know what their deal has been. Some days it's higher. I'm sorry, some months it's higher. Some months it's lower. I just, yeah, I don't know, y'all. Um, Once I get this phone paid off, I am probably going to look for another carrier because it is ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and tally up my fixed expenses to see what we can move over to our variable and cash envelopes. Okay, so we went ahead and totaled up our fixed expenses, which it was $960.70, which had a remaining $446.30. So now we're going to go ahead and move this over to see what we have left after our variable expenses. All right, so for Target, I did pay it off, and it was $39.10 that was left. So that is now paid off. Yay! My Walmart Capital One card, it is $30 that was due, and this was just my gas that I put on the card. Then we have ComEd, it was $91.13. We have Capital One, this is my second Capital One card, and I did make a payment of $100 which means I have $200 left. Um, and we're gonna see what we can put into our cash envelopes. Y'all, I still have not finished decorating for Christmas. I feel like it's just coming so, 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 so fast. Um, I asked my daughter if she wanted to help me do it this weekend. So we'll see if it gets done. Um, I only decorate my downstairs area. I don't do the whole entire house like our bedrooms. Um, I just do the downstairs area and then the Christmas tree. So we really just need to put up the Christmas tree and then get a couple more trinkets for um, around the house. This year I did silver, white, and I think I might add in some blue just to get an oomph color. Um, but I'll see what I have downstairs in the basement. So that leaves us with $260.23. So we're going to subtract that from our remaining, which was $446.30 which means we have $187.07. I'm sorry, $186.07. So we are going to put 100 and... Mm, what do I want to put? I'm going to do $150 into our cash envelopes, which is our daily expenses. Let's see, $186.07, $186.07. Subtracted by 150. That leaves us with 3607 that's left. I'm gonna put 36 to towards Christmas. And then for my buffer, which stays in my checking account, we are going to have that seven cents. So we're just gonna go ahead and recalculate, and make sure that we have reached our 44630. All right, so we went ahead and tallied everything up. So our 
variable expenses um, is $446.30. So we have $150 that we are going to be putting into our cash envelopes. So now we're just gonna go ahead and flip to cash envelopes. All right, so here we are. So now for my cash envelopes, these are my expenses that I use for trying to stay on budget. We have $150. So I have myself. I have my daughter. I have grocery. I have eating out. I have coffee, I have household, I have gas, this is usually to pay back my credit card, and then my last one is miscellaneous. So I'm going to start off with the ones that typically are the largest. So for myself, I'm going to give myself $20. For my daughter, she's going to get 10 for groceries, I'm going to do $75. For eating out, I'm going to do $50. For coffee, I'm going to do $25. And y'all, I'm over budget. <laughs> so you're going to take this on back. So for myself, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this with the handy dandy whiteout. So that means that we need to readjust myself and then also readjust eating out and coffee because we ain't got no money for that, y'all. It's nice, but we ain't got no money. <laughs> but that's okay. All the bills are paid, so I am, I'm good. I'm good. So for myself... I'm gonna give myself $10. And then Skyler has $10. And then grocery is 75. And then eating out. Y'all, we're gonna have to do 30. We may not be having no eating out. Um, coffee, I'm going to do $10. I'm gonna have to use a lot of my rewards. Um, household, I'm going to do five. I don't need anything for household items. Gas, I'm going to do 10. I just filled up, um, so I shouldn't have to fill up again, but we will see. And nothing is going into miscellaneous, so that's how we are breaking down our cash envelopes and then our cash. We're going to see what we get over here. So we have. So now we are going to go ahead and break down how we're going to get our money, make it super easy. So for myself, I have $10. I'm just going to get a $10 bill. For Skylar, she has $10 as well. She's going to get two fives. For groceries, we have 75. So I'm going to do a 50, a 20, and a five. For eating out, we have 30, which I'm going to do three tens. For coffee, coffee, I am going to do 10 ones. For household, I'm going to just do a $5 bill. And then for gas, I'm just going to do a $10 bill as well. So we're gonna go ahead and tally this up and see what we are at. So we have our teller slip. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill this out. So we have for hundreds, nothing. 50s, we have one. For 20s, we have one. For 10s, we have five. For fives, we have four, and for singles, we have 10. And so this is going to total $150. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the bank so we can go ahead and get our cash to do our cash stuffing. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Be blessed, love you, bye.